Welcome back to Crystal Clear on the Roundtable. I'm Osric Vox, and continuing our discussion of White Pearl, previously we explored the possibility of White Pearl being resurrected by White Diamond. That if White Pearl was originally Pink Pearl, as we theorized, then resurrection could explain the desaturation and change in hue. But today, I want to focus more on the mind control aspect of everything. If you're a bit out of the loop on all the theories concerning White Pearl and White Diamond, which is okay because there's a lot, a lot of fans have always imagined White Diamond to have mind control powers, as that could best correlate with her involvement in the diamond attack and corruption. Not to mention her gemstone as well in her head. I personally theorize that White Pearl, again, who is the original Pink Pearl, is currently being mind controlled by White, which is why White Pearl emulates her voice instead of the standard Pearl tone by Dee Dee Magna Hall. But if you want to be informed on that theory, please check out the correlating Crystal Clear. Moving on beyond that, I think the big question is, well, if White Pearl is mind controlled, can she ever be freed? And if so, how? And I believe the answer is yes. While White Diamond could have some miraculous change of heart and let White Pearl go, liberating her from White's grasp, I don't see that happening anytime soon. So of course, that leaves us with the best avenue, Steven. I mean, yeah, he's the main character. And at this point of the series, I think we can expect him to be the problem solver for pretty much every major conflict, but enough stating the obvious. The hypothetical scenario I want to present would not only work because it would rely on an ability we previously saw in the series, but it would continue the arc and development of Steven and Pink Diamond. Steven trying to come to terms with and rectify his mother's actions, trying to make up with her mistakes. So how can Steven pull off undoing a diamond's mind control? Bring in the Dream Warrior Empathy Powers. We're all aware of Steven's abilities to enter the mind of others. He's done it with a cluster, Malachite, by extension, Jasper and Lapis Lazuli, Lars, although he ended up possessing his body, whose experience I believe lays the most groundwork for the scenario, Kiki. Steven's dream powers have not been forgotten, as we just saw them in action in the episode Reunited, when Steven tried to calm down the cluster and prevent its bubble from popping, and a more out-of-body psychedelic advanced version of it at the episode's climax. But let's step back to Kiki. As I mentioned, Steven's adventure of her is key to what I'm trying to get at. In Kiki's piece of delivery service, Steven assisted Kiki in eliminating her nightmares. What started out as stumbling into her dreams by accident quickly evolved into a nightly routine, which left Steven tired and drained. Ultimately, Steven realized there has to be a source to all of this. That source was the pressure and anxiety of Kiki not wanting to let down Jenny, never turning down Jenny when it came to covering shifts at Fish Stew Pizza. It took a toll on Kiki. This all accumulated into a confrontation between Kiki and her manifestation of Jenny. And although Steven aided her, it was ultimately Kiki who made the decision to put her foot down, to worry about herself for once. This episode alone tells us that Steven's dream power seems to attract people who are in distress, even if they appear to be fine on the outside. It shows us that, with his imagination, Steven can combat against what's harming the person in need, and that ultimately, said person in need needs to confront their problems head on themselves. That Steven will be there, Steven will help them, but they have to make the final blow. When applying all this to White Pearl, while she doesn't seem normal on the outside, <laughs> hence why a lot of people came to the conclusion that she's mind controlled, in this scenario, the original personality of White Pearl or Pink Pearl would still be in there, restrained, hidden by the facade of White Diamond's control. Thus, I imagine that original personality would be in distress. And I assume that Steven Universe, a show with a lot of mystical action adventure elements, would probably have some Evangelion tier imagery when inside the mind of someone who's under the control of White Diamond, who's already a creepy deity like figure. Whatever is mentally ailing that White Pearl, Pink Pearl inside of this zombie like shell, while Steve will definitely try to learn more about her, understand her, and help her, it's it's up to the Pearl to make a difference and to truly fight off White Diamond's control. So applying this scenario to our current situation, here's how I can see things going down. Steven may currently be trapped on Homeworld. We have yet to see what's going to happen with Pink Diamond's ship, the other diamonds, Connie, Amethyst, Garnet, Pearl. But I don't think White Diamond would send Steven to what assumably was Pink Diamond's former room if he could just casually stroll out and everything would be fine. No, I think Steven may actually be trapped there, which could lead to him learning more about his mom's past. But how can he achieve this? Well, if he's in a pickle and he knows he can't just willingly leave, he might just 
take a nap. I mean, realistically, the boy has been a lot through the past 24 hours. I mean, a wedding, a diamond attack, homeworld, meeting White Diamond, not to mention all the corruption stuff. He's probably exhausted. And Steven may catch on to the fact that, as long as he complies, his well-being is safe making him a bit more comfortable in sleeping. Once he's sleeping, he could have more dreams where he sees his mother's memories, but also assuming her form, like in Jungle Moon. But alternatively, what if he falls asleep, and instead of immediately assuming his mother's memories, his mind is able to link with White Pearl. And once in White Pearl's mind, he's able to meet the original personality who's being restrained and controlled by White Diamond. From there, he learns more about his mother, more about the Pearl herself, and similar to Kiki's pizza delivery service, is able to combat and liberate her. This could be how he learned about her scarring on her face, why she's missing an eye, and if she truly was resurrected by White Diamond. And if that's the case, I'm totally psyched to see what happens next. And again, imagine how creepy it would be to see a mindscape that's been tarnished by White Diamond. And before we wrap up, it would further advance Steven trying to atone for his mother's sins. From his mind, to be like, oh geez, this is mom's original pearl. Because of what mom did, because of her mistakes, yeah, she got our pearl, but now this pearl had to suffer the consequences. It'd be heavy stuff. And just emphasize how much of a bleak situation trying to get on White Diamond's side truly is. But as always, these are just my thoughts, and I want to hear yours. What do you think? Can Steven free White Pearl? Do you think she's even my controlled? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below, or tweet them directly to me at Vox. We're at The Roundtable on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Roundtable Vids. If you want to help The Roundtable Girls, support us on Patreon. Get access to exclusive perks and have your name featured at the end of the video, like all these beautiful, wonderful people. Link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, and if you're new here, subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications, stay in the loop with all things Steven. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day. Vox out.